Hello and thanks for joining us. Today I thought I'd go over some of the accessories available for the Carrera Digital 132 and 124 systems. Here you can see the layout of all their accessories from the wireless controllers, the starlight bridge, the lap counter, driver stations, position tower, and the app connect. As well as the most important piece, the control unit, which runs all these different accessories. The control unit is used for coding all your accessories, starting races, setting your fuel, setting your brakes, uh, pace car features. You can set the speed of how fast the cars are going. So if you had younger racers with you, you can slow their cars down while not affecting the speed of yours. And it helps them from crashing and it's a good learning tool. In this next clip, you'll see the adapter track. This is the track that all your accessories will be plugged into. Most of your accessories will come with this piece of track, but not all of them. If you notice on the left and the right, you'll see the bigger ports. There's two on either side, and your accessories can be plugged into any of them. This gives you the option to put them on the outside of the track or the inside of the track. The most basic of features is programming the car. If you notice in the video, you press the lane change button twice, lift up the car, the lights will flash, you press it two more times, and your car is programmed. Now, you can either turn your headlights on or off. You can turn them on or off by simply stopping the car, waiting a couple seconds, click the lane change button, and you can click them on or you can click them off. Here you have the Starlight Bridge. It's what starts your races, so everyone starts at the same time. As the lights count up, there's five sets, and when the fifth one lights, you pull your trigger and hit the road. Now, there's another feature in the starlight where if you start a race and you count down by hitting the start button twice, they count down, and if somebody pulls their trigger too early, it tells you who started the race before everybody else. The track stops and you got to reset the race by pressing the start button twice and try again. One of the coolest accessories in my opinion is the pit lane. It allows you to refuel your car when you run out. This is the driver's station. It keeps track of your position, how much fuel you have, how many pit stops you've made. As you can see, the LEDs across the top are the fuel. As they get closer to red, the closer you are to empty. Once you're empty, your lights on your car will flash, signaling that you're out of fuel. When you pull into the pit lane, drive over the sensor, hold in your lane change button. When your lights are done flashing, your tank is full and you continue on racing. Another note on the driver stations, you can have up to six of these plugged in, one for each driver. This is the position tower. It keeps track of how many laps have been run and what car is in which position. Carrera's newest accessory this year is the App Connect. This is to be used with uh, either an iPhone or an Android, and it's kind of like a small display screen that shows driver positions, how much fuel they have. It's kind of like a driver's station for your iPad. Uh, they made great strides on this program over the last year. Um, I'm not sure it's 100% yet, but it's got great potential, and I'm really looking forward to great things from this in the future. And lastly, I want to touch base on the different controller options you have. Seen here are their wireless 2.4 gigahertz controllers. These can be carried around anywhere and don't have to be in direct view of any receiver. The next one is the wired controller, which is most typical. It plugs into the control unit, but you're tethered to it so you can't walk around like you can with the wireless. And lastly, an aftermarket pistol grip controller. These are fantastic controllers. They have sensitivity settings on the top, which regulate your throttle. It also has a brake button, as well as obviously the lane change button. Thank you for joining us today and watching our video. If you have any questions or would like to purchase these items, you can find them at cincyslots.com 
or you can view us also on Facebook under Cincy Slots Slot Cars. Hope to see you there.